Hi guys. Sorry. This is Monique Dupree Thomas, or Monique Dupree, or the original Gata, or whatever you call me. First of all, I must apologize for the noise. Um, my kids were asleep. My husband was asleep. So I had to come outside to do this video. And I'm in New York, so there's a lot of loud noise. Now, woo, this is the topic today. I was just going to do like a, uh, not a quote of the day, but like a, a statement of the day or something to that effect. However, this one lady that I've been talking to and uh, you know, I don't reveal anybody's names, so you don't have to freak out. This lady that I've been talking back and forth to um, left me a, a message today. So her, her thing was about her long distance relationship. Now, this is different because I, I had a woman uh, doing this as opposed to a, a man, which you know, anybody is capable of being deceitful. Um, so I feel like she came to me to talk to me to make her feel better about herself and uh, I can't I can't in good conscience do that so her issue was and this happens all too well her issue was well I've been talking to somebody I'm in a, a long distance relationship for over two years um, we've only met once briefly uh, or you know, at least that's what she says but she said that she is she feels lonely so even though she's telling that person that it's just them and that you know she has a complicated situation which to me no situation is complicated if you lay all your cards out on the table. Uh, complicated doesn't become the word. You may have trouble seeing one another or whatever, but if you lay everything out on the table, especially in a long distance relationship, there should be no little nuance left unturned because you have to, you have to give extra trust in all of that. Um, so she's in a situation where she started feeling lonely so a year into the relationship, she started seeing her ex, but she didn't consider it as seeing her ex. She just kind of, he became single. She just kind of uh, started hanging out with him. Hanging out with your ex does not entail sex. Uh, hanging out with your ex does not entail girlfriend, boyfriend things. Hanging out with your ex does not entail spending every waking moment with them. So now she's finally admitted to herself that she has her emotions here and she loves all of the physical time there, but she hasn't told her long distance boyfriend that she's been sleeping with her ex. Uh, she just told him it's a, a, a complicated situation. They don't have children, but uh, she's not being forthcoming. She's not going, oh, you know, we're having intimate little nights at, at home, uh, playing footsie, eating Chinese food, or, you know, like those different kinds of things. So she asked me if I was wrong. Now, I gave her the breakdown. I said, not only is that wrong, but you are being very selfish and catering to only you. If this is what you wanna do, your ex already knows that you're in a relationship with somebody else and he chooses that. But the person that you're having a long distance relationship with, if you're verbally telling them that it's just you and you're the only one and I love you and I can't wait for us to be together, you are lying to not only them, but you're lying to yourself. Because what happens, let's just play devil's advocate. What happens if your love of your life that lives long distance moves in the same city, maybe the same block as you and your ex? 
Now, question, are you going to do the same exact things that you're doing now? If the answer is no, then you know that you're being deceitful, that you're just playing a game. But here's where you're being deceitful as well. You're you're giving yourself to two different people, but saying that you're only giving yourself to one person, convincing yourself that you're only hanging out with your ex when you know you start to rebuild feelings of for said ex, or at least this is from what she said. But you know, scenarios like this happen. If you guys are all together in one space, are you going to treat your ex that you've been lovey-dovey with the exact same way? Like, whatever you're doing with your ex, if you can't do in front of this long distance person, when they're around, then you are wrong. And you are just being selfish to satisfy your own needs and playing with other people's emotions, whether you care to accept that or not. So you need to get your house in order and either be straight with that person. First, be straight with yourself. Let's be real. And and while we're at it and talking about stuff like that, you know, I know she had just got released from her job. I know COVID is happening and people are getting fired left and right or whatever. But your, your deceitfulness and you know deception lowers your vibration and low vibrations you don't really get anywhere like you have to raise your vibrations for the positive things that you want in your life you cannot benefit from walking around with low vibrations so you see what you're putting out into the universe is those low vibrations because your deception is either coming from you know, I don't know, selfishness, uh, anger, you know, desire, lust, uh, pride, whatever it is, it's coming from all of those low, low vibrations. And so you're putting yourself in a position. So you can't go, oh, I'm going to, you know, go out for this corporate job and do all of this stuff. When you're walking around, throwing all of these, pulling your own vibration down, pulling your own vibration down by being so deceptive and basically splitting your heart and not only doing that but you're bringing other people's emotions into play and you're not really sitting and going how am i hurting this person or how am i hurting this person long distance relationships can work but you have to be strong you have to be completely honest with that significant other that you are in this long distance relationship with. You cannot be running around with your ex doing all kinds of things, just saying it's a friendship. That's bullshit. You're, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to both parties. You're, you're lying to everyone. But most of all, you're lying to yourself. And you're not going to get a forward momentum, especially uh, from the universe see the universe has no fixed agenda right it only gives you what you put into it so if you're gonna put deception into it even to the point where you just start lying to yourself and it's getting bigger and bigger and you don't even know well that's what the universe is gonna give you back because it has no fixed agenda so first of all if you want to fix your life if you want better things in life start to do better be better you know don't be a uh, don't be a deceptive human being. And that's my word for the, the day, deceptive, because that's exactly what it is. And she was trying to convince me ways that it wasn't. Like, well, I'm lonely. Or, you know, my ex knows that I'm with somebody else. Okay, but you're telling your ex, you're telling this man that you're with somebody else, but you admitted that your emotions are really connected to this person too and that you're enjoying the time and that you guys are starting to reconnect so what's happening like if the three of you got together what are you just gonna completely turn off your emotions and go oh I'm sorry it's been nice you've been hanging out with me 
you've been having sex with me to buy time or whatever, but now I'm gonna go to this long distance relationship because they're here. Do you hear that, how that sounds? That sounds horrible. That's a horrible person. And if that's you in the least bit, you need to start to do some housework in your soul because it's wrong, it's deceitful. And you're not gonna go anywhere uh, big or great in life being that person or doing what you're doing to these other people and basically taking their emotions you're, you're basically taking both people's emotions and you're basically explaining it away for your own self benefit for whatever that is however you're benefiting from it that's not cool that's not right and if that's remotely you, you don't need to be asking other people, is this me? If you have to ask yourself that question, it's you. It's definitely you. And it's not fair to the people around you. Although uh, words do have power, but actions have power too. So if you're saying, oh, we're just friends, but you're doing all of these things that are so much more than friends, that are, that are what people do in relationships, intimate things. And you are supposed to have a long distance relationship with somebody else that is wrong. Unless you are talking to that person in the long distance relationship and you're like, hey, I'm just letting you know. Like you use the specific words, hey, I'm just letting you know I'm having sex with my ex. Um, you know, is that okay? Or you guys built the parameters and said, I don't care if you sleep with, with somebody else. You know, if both parties are going, we don't care, which is even worse for a long distance relationship because relationships like that don't usually last because then you can fall for somebody else. That's why uh, sometimes open relationships have uh, issues. Trust me, I know because I've been down that avenue. So it's very doubtful that a uh, long distance relationship is going to have those parameters that go, I don't care what you do with somebody else just as long as you're talking to me because that becomes, that becomes something else. That's a long distance friendship with benefits. But my point is, if you're going to have a long distance relationship and that's what you're saying it is, to that other person, not what you're telling yourself, but you're telling that other person, you need to start to re-examine. And one of the most mature and open and honest things that you could do is either come clean to that other party or break it off. Break it off before you start in, uh, causing any more hurt. Or go back and revisit, go, hey, look, Maybe we should just be dating so that way, you know, you're not just committed to this one person, you're dating. In which case you can say that you're dating and then that opens you up to, you know, you dating your ex as well as you dating this person or dating John, Harry, whoever you want to date. But if you're not specifically saying that, you can't go, oh, they know, oh, they know that my, my ex comes over, okay? they know that your ex comes over do they know all of the other details of what you're doing with your ex because for a long distance relationship to work you have to be extra open you have to be more open than if they were right here because it builds insecurity when you're not when it seems like you're hiding something you know what I'm saying guys please I'm I was really invested in this because you don't realize when you're just trying to be self-satisfying, the other people around you that you're hurting. Because then you end up hurting one person or the other. So if this is you right now, stop and think about that and fix your situation like yesterday. Because it's not cool, it's not fair, and it's not right to the other people that you're dealing with point blank period it's not right you're gonna be in a long distance relationship and you tell that person that you love them and it's only them and and you know we're gonna start this life or we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do be that person 
don't be that person via text but in person you know you're invested in somebody else in some other kind of way because you're lonely because you need to fill in some blanks you don't use people to fill in blanks you don't ever use anybody to fill in blanks if you cannot use your words and be completely honest with somebody and go I just want to remind you that I'm blah 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 you're being deceitful you're messing with people's emotions you're pulling down your own vibrations and you're not going anywhere in life because you're being openly selfish and selfish people don't go far. They really don't. Um, Self-satisfying folk. So that's all I'm gonna say about uh, long distance relationships. But seriously, not only are you hurting your uh, other people, but you're hurting yourself. You're hurting your vibrations. You're bringing your vibrations down. Um, you're not pulling yourself towards uh, a goal or a desire that you would want. And you'll wonder why things aren't working out here or things aren't working out there. It's all you. It's all you. So start with you. Get your house in order. Get your heart in order. Learn how to be completely honest with yourself so that you can be honest with those around you. If you really actually love somebody, you would never do that to them. Never. So... If you're in this situation and you love at least one of the people that you're with, owe it to yourself and to those people to come out and come clean. Either come clean or break something off. But don't continue in the same thing and go, oh no, uh, that's, that's not me, they know. Well, you know what, just in case, say it out loud. Say it with your whole mouth. This is how so many bad situations are created from people that are being self-satisfying and then it starts, it starts a war. It starts a war between people. You did that. You're doing that. Cut it the fuck out. It's not cute. It's not good for you. It's not good for those around you and it's not good for those people that you claim you love because I would never do something like that to somebody that I love. I learned from experience and when I woke up, I made the necessary changes. I made the necessary changes just like that. Was it hard? Hell yeah. Was it hard to just say it? Yes, <laughs> it was. But was it necessary? Yes, it was. Be a grown-up. Be a whole fucking adult. And do the right thing. I hope my girl is watching this. Do the right thing. Don't keep this situation like this. It's going to end ugly for you and everybody around you. So, yes, vibrate higher. Having said that, I'm gonna go now. Um, I hope this benefited someone. Keep in mind, I'm no guru. I'm no relationship expert. I'm just a mother with 10 children who's been married for almost three decades and has had my share of trials and tribulations. But um, I'm still married. My husband loves me and I love him. That's always something to build on. Thank you guys for watching. Monique Dupree Thomas out. Bye.